and get started on Ellie. Get in all of that detail. <laughs> Companies sent me something. and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Lizzie, a pet family and wildlife portrait artist specialised in coloured pencil realism so if that's something you're interested in consider subscribing to my channel down below and thanks for clicking on this studio vlog. I've literally just finished editing my outline video for my latest commission. So this is Ellie. I did feature her a little bit in my last studio vlog so i filmed an entire video dedicated to how i get outlines on paper because i get asked that quite a lot and some people have said it sort of looks like um like a paint by numbers i feel like not many people do the method that i do so when this comes out the video will already be on my channel so i'll leave it linked below and put it in the little card thing i'm going to spray the little bit of pan pastel I did on my original, which also coincidentally featured in my last studio vlog. This is the little section, if you didn't see that vlog. I forgot to spray it, so I'm gonna spray it now and get started on Ellie. I do sort of know which pencils to naturally gravitate towards purely because I've done pet portraits for like three years now so I'm used to it but there are still some times where I do get a little bit stuck on what pencils to choose. So what I'd like to do is click on the colour select tool in Procreate and drag it around to a particular colour that I'm not too sure on. So let's just go in here, for example, and I scribble down the colour. So that's now the colour that I need to look for in my pencil selection. I've got a couple colour swatches up here. So this was when I drew Wesley the Corgi. This is from my own little drawing of my pet cat, Beth blue eyes and skin tone, I can refer to the colour swatches. So having a couple of these is also really helpful. I've not actually used a black pencil yet. There are so many greys, blues, purples and browns layered all up and I'm only now going to go in with a black pencil. So this just shows what layering up the colours can do to create the depth in the black fur. Hi, baby boy. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Yes, I'm still wearing my jumper dress that I wore yesterday. I had to film a TikTok. It's comfortable and it looks cute rather than some tatty old jumper. <laughs> um, so I'll put the TikTok in now, actually, in the vlog so you can see. And go follow me on TikTok, please. I think the real question here is how do you expect me to choose just one? Can I pick all? I love drawing Jasper because his coloration is gorgeous. Toby the Spaniel here, his ears are phenomenal and I love a good challenge. And Harry here, how can I not say no to that smile? It's the cutest. My great aunt is turning 80. My mum's asked me if I can do a little birthday card for her. I started this illustration quite a while ago and then never got anywhere with it. So I'm going to finish the illustration, print it and put it on a card for her. So I'll take you through the little bit of process 
for all of that. I'm gonna print the card on the same paper I use for my greetings cards. A big shout out to Shannon Mullen that um, led me onto this. It's actually just from a wedding stationery place, but it's Tintoretto gesso paper and it's got a really lovely texture to it. I printed it to have this little bit of a border because my printer sometimes will get black ink on the edges if it prints borderless. So I just need to clean the print head, but to be honest, I can't be asked to do that right now. So I'm just going to trim it down so it doesn't have any of the white borders on. I pop a bit of scrap tissue paper on top because this magnet that keeps the paper in place sometimes leaves a little mark on the paper. Now I'm just going to score it on my infeasibly small scoring board. I should really invest in a bigger one. So I'm going to just have to do this in sections. There we go. Now I'm just going to trim off this little bit here. And now the card's all done. So I'm just going to give it to my mum to write something on in the inside. So yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Cabbage cream eggs are a must and I will fight anyone that disagrees with me. What you got there, Squidge? Oh. <laughs> Door, he jumps up at me, <laughs> so I, I throw it out quick. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had one of them take it out of your hand? Well, the one um, used to, but I haven't seen him lately. Oh. I'm just wondering if, um, you know, the little fox hasn't had him. Yeah, maybe you accidentally fattened him up a bit too much. It's bank holiday Monday today. No rest for the wicked. Isn't that the same? This is progress on her so far. Coloured pencils are such a slow medium and this is about, I don't know, I want to, I want to say it's probably, say there's about seven hours worth of work in this at the moment. Just shows how long it takes to build up the layers and get in all of that detail and I'm a little bit of a perfectionist <laughs> so if I wasn't it definitely wouldn't have taken me that long to get to this point. So yeah, I'm gonna go scan her in and send a progress photo over to my client because I haven't actually done that yet. So I need to go do that. I really think I'm gonna have to sort of title this vlog like a realistic couple of days in the studio because I feel like not much has happened. It's sort of been like the same content every day. But I mean, that's kind of life really. Like not every day is filled with a load of stuff happening. But yeah, I hopefully it's still fun to watch. My printer has a scanner on the top, so that's where I've popped the artwork. Then from my memory card, I just upload it onto Google Drive and I'm gonna email this over to her now. Okay, now I wanted to show you how long it's gonna take me to get this piece of artwork up with these talons. You just cannot catch the side of it. There we go. Once again, I've got even more footage of Mitzi. Are you a cute little baby? Hey? <laughs> yes, you are. Distracting me from work yet again. <laughs> There's no face in the way. I'm so sorry. I'm taking my slice tool now and I'm gonna scrape in all of the little bits of white fur. She's got a load of these little grey hairs coming through. Because I've put such a thick base of black fur, I can easily sort of swipe this through and get all of those random little stray white hairs in.
Now I'm going in with my Derwent Lightfast White and I'm going to pop it over some of the little strokes that I've made just to make them pop a little bit more. Go back in with a black pencil as well just to sharpen up some areas. So make that little first strand just a bit more defined. my last studio vlog at the very end you'll have noticed that I said that I've got some exciting news for my next studio vlog I can finally say what that is now because the actual things arrived it's this massive paint by numbers kit by crafties so they reached out to me and asked if I wanted to do either a paint by numbers or a diamond painting so I picked a paint by number kit it's the first time that a company's sent me something for free to review and to like give my thoughts and opinions on so I'm really excited I'm gonna unbox it now because I want to have a little look inside but I'm not going to do it properly I'm not going to do it fully because there will be eventually an entirely dedicated video on it on my channel I can't wait to start it I will be doing it in between commissions because I have a feeling it's going to take me a while to finish and obviously commissions do come first open it. <gasps> wow. So I got this on a canvas but you can also get it rolled up. Everything else is in here. You're gonna have to watch the video to see what it's gonna look like at the end. The areas are really nicely marked. It feels lovely as well. Can't wait for this. As you can see, I've done quite a lot of Ellie off camera. I just wanted to crack on with her, not have to worry about filming or anything. I've had to rub out so much of the black. You can just see how much it smudges onto the paper. So yeah, I'm gonna have to rub all of that out and redraw her jump on her legs. It's looking so much better now, but what I'm gonna do is just spray over what I've drawn so the black doesn't smudge anymore. I have the biggest bumblebee in the studio. Oh my God, it is huge. It's gone now. <laughs> These are all the colours I've picked out for her jumper. So I've got a mixture of Faber-Castell Polychromos, Caran d'Ache Luminance, Caran d'Ache Pablo and Derwent Lightfast. Whilst I'm drawing her jumper, I thought I'd also just mention, since this photo has been taken of Ellie above her, so Ellie's been looking up at the phone, by drawing her legs and the bottom of her jumper a little bit blurry, it really helps with that perspective. And it also means that the viewer's attention's all on her face. I'm really happy to say that Ellie is now finished. I just need to mount her now, but my mounts haven't arrived unfortunately, so you can't see that in this vlog, but I do have a video on my channel showing how I mount commissions. I loved drawing Ellie. She's the first dog that I've drawn from this angle. So getting proportions right was a little bit of a challenge, but I enjoyed it. I also very much enjoy drawing her jumper because it's very cute with the little foxes on it. And what you've just seen there is the shine that this portrait has from the many, many, many layers of coloured pencil. Even though Ellie's finished, I wanted to include Friday in the vlog. This is what I have to do to add volume to my hair. <laughs> Outrageous. Because I'm meeting my best friend and we're going to have a little double date in the evening. Oh, you did this the wrong way around. <laughs> 
It's alright, you're dyslexic, so it's forgiven. <laughs> 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 That's a mega part. They are feeding. The point of theory is that. Just got me. Voice over Lizzie signing off from this studio vlog because I think you'll agree. Quite frankly, you've seen enough of my face in this vlog already. I really hope you enjoyed this studio vlog. If you did, hit like, comment anything down below if you've got anything to comment. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I'm slowly growing, which I'm very excited about. So thank you to everyone that subscribed already. As always, all links to products that I've used in this studio vlog will be linked down below as well as all of my social media including my Etsy shop as well. I've got some things I need to put on there, so there's already content for a next studio vlog there. I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll hopefully catch you all in the next one. Bye for now.